Hello and welcome to Freeman. And uh, this is this is obviously the biggest update that we've had so far. They have completely rearranged everything and we are about to fight our last band of mountain bandits that we need for the quest. And bear in mind that this quest is literally almost out of time. We are, we are really, really close to it being failed and hopefully we will be able to uh, pull it off. So we have our Malamud squad right here. And we are going to try and do a uh, do a do a little something here. Do a little something, and uh, well, we are. Oh yeah! By the way, I should really say thank you to those of you that gave me a whole bunch of suggestions in the comments. And for some reason, I don't have any ammunition. I really do need to. Very good. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Well, anyway, the developers did release a patch yesterday and I'm pretty sure that that is going to fix the AI issue that we were having in the previous episode or at the at the very end of the previous episode because we were finding that our guys they would be standing right next to the enemy and they would refuse to shoot at them which was of course pretty bad so hopefully they're not going to do that this time around and they will be a little bit more proactive now I have received many comments and I very much thank you for all of your suggestions. I have basically an overabundance of huge amounts of different suggestions. But the first squad that is going to be named after the Malamute squad here is going to be after someone in the comments left me a, left me a comment just today about their dog. And their dog is currently sick and it's a form of cancer and they've had all kinds of problems and the dog had to have her leg amputated and that just that just wrenches at your heart so just so so much and so i'm gonna name the next squad after that dog probably gonna have enough units to be able to do that so it's basically like a little a little dedication to that doggo and uh Maybe, who knows, maybe just maybe it will send some good, you know, good vibes. Send some, you know, you too can send some good vibes to this dog and, uh, you know, maybe will it to get a little better. Because <laughs> uh, that's just awful. That's just really, really awful. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to hopefully be able to win here. And uh, hopefully then we will be able to create the new squad. So... Let's have a look. All right. Okay. So I see a couple of people over in this direction. I still do not have night vision goggles, of course. I should really buy them. I only have 30 bullets, which is just absolutely awful. I'm hopeful that my guys will actually do something. <laughs> uh, yeah. They're, they're not looking to do something right now, are they? I'm actually wondering whether I need to start a new game for them to be able to shoot. As you can see, look at this. They're not actually shoot. Oh, there we go. They're actually starting to shoot a little bit now. Did some damage. A little bit of critical damage right there. Yeah, they are starting to shoot at them. I, I, at least a little bit. Maybe a bit better than they were beforehand. Because... I was a bit worried about attacking when I've got such little amounts of ammo. But just got to make every single shot count. That's basically the one thing that I can do. Or that I have to do. As much as I can. There we go. Assault rifle proficiency is going up. I've only got six bullets remaining. This is pretty bad. Uh, I hope my forces will actually start shooting at, at the enemies. They... <laughs> they're a bit weird. They're a bit weird still. They still seem to be a bit cautious, maybe. Uh... Don't really want to get shot myself, so I'm just going to get down here, and hello, there you are, you're dead. Okay, I've only got three bullets remaining, there's only two enemies left. We should have a pretty easy time of things, maybe, and I've got no more, oh, I do have a, I do have a pistol, yeah, I forgot about that, don't I? Yeah, I do have a pistol, I did forget. There we go, okay, did I... Was that it? Yes. Okay. Phew. That was close. Okay. I really thought that we were going to have some issues there, but there you go. 5,780 credits, a little bit of experience as well. And we got an AKM. Very nice. Oh, and we got some flak vests too. And some camo pants. Very nice. I like it. Okay. Let's take some ammunition as well. We definitely need that. Of course. 
All right, so before we do anything else, let's name that squad. There we go. Okay, so the, the dog's name is Baby Girl, and I wish her the very best, and I'm sure many, many people out there do as well, because there were so many suggestions for dog names. People, you know, people that are watching this series must be huge dog fans, so do send your best wishes to her, because that is really, really sad. Okay, so otherwise, let us level up some of our forces, and did I, I lost another person, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, terrible, okay. Well, whatever the case, I can now do, I could do auto-equip, I could actually do auto-equip if I wanted to, should I? Don't know whether it's really worth me doing that. Kind of. What, what did this guy put on? Just this rifle? Is, it, is that better than what? Yeah, I, yeah, the flak vests are not exactly great, are they? And I think someone put on the AKM as well, so I suppose that's good. Because we just have the AKS-76 right there. Alright, so we do have a grenade here. I don't know whether I should just give that to one of my squad, because it doesn't look like I'm going to use that ever. So let me just continue to level up my marksmanship. And... Hmm. As I said, it's probably going to be a good idea for me to continue leveling my assault rifles up until the time when I can upgrade to either the VA Val or to a machine gun. Because I think what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna either be using rifles or I'm gonna be using machine guns. I don't know whether machine guns are really gonna work because they do have a huge amount of recoil. And that, eh, I'm not the best at controlling recoil, so we'll see how that goes. But maybe we'll try something like that. Anyway, mm, let's see what this guy can wear. Oh, we don't have a better one for him. Oh, that's great. Uh, okay, well, well, that's it then, I guess. Okay, so we're just going to have to give this guy a grenade. There we go. And uh, we're going to we're gonna go and recruit some people. And I did complete that quest. There you go. I've got zero hours left. I actually don't know whether that is going to make any uh, any difference. But let me see. Where do I... Oh, Beneva. Beneva's right there. Let's rush. Oh, did you... It literally failed it at that second. Really? I can't believe that. Wow, that is so sad. Ah, uh, there well, never mind. A bit disappointing, but not really the end of the world. Okay, so otherwise, let's see what we can do here. Uh, I'd like to sell some stuff, but I don't know whether this, uh, you know, th these things are going to be really good for us, I feel. I mean, he's already using an SMG, he's using an SMG, they're using SMGs and an assault rifle, this guy's using a rifle. Don't really want him to use a rifle, so I'm going to give him an AKS instead. And I think that's going to be good. Okay, so let's go into the barracks and see if we can recruit some more people. Let's get some more armed bodyguards to help us out. They're going to be members of the Baby Girl Squad. And they are going to absolutely destroy everything in their path. For the power of doggos is extremely immense. And unfortunately, I only have these rifles for them at the moment. But I do have a couple of vests, which I suppose is pretty decent. Maybe I should... You know what? Let's just put these two guys out of here for the moment. Because these other guys really... They, they, they're the only ones with any gear. So let's try and not get them absolutely running in there without any weapons. So uh, uh, we should buy some more of these, I guess. Yeah, we should buy some more of these. And we'll buy some helmets as well. Because they all need helmets. But this is extremely expensive. I, I, really, I really can't do that. Hmm. We probably want to buy some of these, though. Marine military shirts are, in my opinion, the best. So we're just going to get, take all of those. And no pants? I don't have any pants? Okay, that's unfortunate. I was hopeful that I would be able to get some night camouflage pants. But I guess I'll just get sand, sand pants. This is going to look really weird. I do apologize for it looking kind of a bit off. But this is the best I can kind of do at the moment. So let's just, let's just deal with it. Let's just deal with it. Okay, so let's put those guys like... Oh, no, not that. Thank you very much. And some, some more sand pants. There we go. And these guys we can also replace. There we are. And there we are. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to give these two medkits. Because we do have two medkits. And they're going to be joining us for... 
the foreseeable future for uh, flanking actions and things like that. I still, f I still find the AI is a little bit slow to shoot, but maybe it's because we're fighting at night, as I said. Maybe nighttime is making them a little bit wary about how they should respond to uh, attackers, and maybe they just can't see. You know, maybe that's the, maybe that's the problem. So we'll see how it goes. But as it stands, they don't have any helmets at the moment. So I think what I should do is probably try and fight some more mountain bandits. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go straight on in here. Hello there. Yes, you are You are definitely... Oh, yeah, I really didn't want to fight at night, but okay, whatever. Okay, uh, I should have really bought some more ammunition as well. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm forgetting everything today. Isn't that great? Oh, well, never mind. I think we'll be okay here. So, let's see. All right, so we're just going to send them up as normal, and we're just going to spread them out a little bit. And we'll see how it goes. Thankfully, I have more than 30 bullets this time around. So we're going to be a little bit better. And uh, I actually realized that I have 70... Oh, yeah. Didn't I get some really good armor or something? Because I have 72 armor? I have no idea how I got that. But I must have gotten it from somewhere. So I guess it was doing a risky sort of payday sort of mission where we just get like a massive reward. So, yeah. I think that probably pays off. Maybe we should do a little bit more of that in the foreseeable future because we're going to be able to get so many good items to equip our squads with and it's just going to be so good all right so let's see what we can do here i'm just going to move them a little bit more like this and yeah this is going to be problematic because if our guys continue to not shoot because i think that they did fix that but i'm not entirely sure if i have to start a new game for it to take effect so I will probably have to do a little bit of extra fighting to be able to uh, figure that out. And I should have bought some night vision goggles again. Why am I not doing that? I am an idiot. I don't know why. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so where am I? I'm up here. Okay, so I'm guess, I guess what I am going to do is I'm going to buy some night vision goggles after this fight. Just specifically so you can actually see things. Because I can see things pretty pretty well at the moment. But not great, you know, in the pitch black darkness underneath these trees, for example. Can't see anything here. But if I look towards the, you know, the distance and uh, maybe where the enemies are going to come from, then yeah, you know, I can see them not too bad. But otherwise, yeah, it's a bit difficult to spot enemies, that's for sure. Especially considering I do not have a scope of any kind. So, where are the enemies? Ah, oh, they're actually shooting at me already! Do they have night vision goggles? Because that's pretty crazy for them to be able to see me that fast. Because my guys, they, they can't see anything, apparently. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. But anyway, let's get my guys up here. I have no idea why this squad is being so incredibly slow. Okay, it seems like they're having a difficulty with their waypoints. So I'm actually just going to clear their waypoint and then just move them up here. And I will try to be a little bit cautious myself. Whoa, that's some, that's some pretty cool, pretty cool effects right there with the uh, the moon shining through the trees a little bit. Okay, now we just got to be up. Oh, there they are. Do you see them? Do you see that guy moving around there? You're not going to be able to see that from this distance, I doubt. But the point is, is that there is a guy over there, and I think I might be able to shoot at him. Yep, there's there's a hit. There's another hit. There's another hit, and he's dead. Okay, fantastic. Very good. Okay, so maybe we can draw some people into our uh, into our squads here. I've got to be careful with Baby Girl Squad because it is really, really small at the moment. So we really don't want them to be in a bad situation. So hopefully <laughs> Malamud Squad, who is admittedly much larger, is going to be a little bit slower. I can't see any enemies right now, though. I'm wondering where they are. Maybe we should move them over here. Oh, there's an enemy right there. Yes, thankfully, whew, thankfully my armed bodyguard was on on the uh, on the case, and they took him out. Got to be careful. Got to be really, really careful because if you go over these little little hills here and enter into the valleys, you can be extremely vulnerable to counterattack. And I'm pretty worried as it is right now because I have no idea where they've gone. I have no clue where the enemies have disappeared to. 
Ah, there is one sneaking through. And we're going to do some damage to him, or at least try... What? What, what is going on there? There we go. Nice critical hit there as well. Okay, anyone else? I'm not seeing anyone. Uh, it's kind of weird how the mountain bandits are all spread out. There's another one. There's actually two over there, so that's why I was, you know, spraying a little bit. I mean, it's not really spraying as such, but, you know, firing a little bit quicker. Okay, so let's get my, my big squad to come over here so we can actually do something. Okay, so you can see there, that's where the enemies are. So let's move both of our squads into position, and we're probably going to be able to deal with them pretty easily. Yes, nice. We finished that guy off. And we can get a couple of other kills from this distance, maybe. Nice, okay. And my squad is not firing. I don't know why. I'm kind of a bit worried, but thankfully I do have a pistol, as I've said, so I should be able to use that to good effect, perhaps. Okay, come on, guys. Let's let's get in there. Let's actually move this squad over here. Got to be a bit careful. Okay, careful. Yes. Yeah, they're hiding in those trees right there. There's only two of them, so theoretically we should be absolutely fine. There we go. Yep, Federal Infantry is finally doing something. And you can see there that we're being shot at, but nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. My guys are not shooting, so it may very well be that I need to start a new game, which if, if it does happen, I'm just going to play off screen. You don't have to watch any of the catching up phase. So we'll basically just be in the exact same position that we were before. And so you won't have to, you won't have to see that. So otherwise, ooh, a Posner Commando. Ah, I like that. I like that. That is for sure. Very nice indeed. Okay, so Posner Commandos, they're really, I think they're really good. Can I see their gear? No, I can't see their gear. Technically, I could persuade him to join us. Or I could bribe him. But you can see that's going to cost a huge amount of cash. So that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. But otherwise, let's go into the marketplace. Buy some night vision goggles, finally. And then we will sell all of this other stuff here. Clear out our inventory a little bit. There we go. And now we can equip these. Nice. Okay. So otherwise, what do we want? Well, we want some ammunition, of course. So that I can actually start spraying once again. Like the imbecile I am. And then we'll, then we'll get some ammunition. There we go. That's fantastic. All right, so that's much better. So now my guys, do they have helmets? No, they still do not have helmets. So I need to get to a, a town that is going to give them some helmets, I think. That's probably going to make the most sense. So let's level up that armed bodyguard. And I have some vests. Yes, I have some vests that I can give to these guys. So let's put them in those. And we'll give them medkits as well so that they're prepared to enter... Our squads when they are ready when they are fully equipped don't have any weapons for them amazingly enough I'm actually do I I have an AKM don't I yes I do there we go there's an AKM okay and this guy might actually do quite well already so we're probably just gonna put him in there and he doesn't have a helmet so that's the only thing we really need to get him so I am going to travel I'm probably gonna travel over to Zalaniv or something like that really don't want to do too many battles in between here and if I see any generals by the way that are running around and they're really really low level or they just have a very small army I saw that Finn was running around and Finn was one of our greatest assets in the previous series because he was running I mean he is so incredibly good with grenade launchers and grenades in general and so I really wanted to get, get him again so that he could actually help us. And I think he could be really, really spectacular. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. Let's buy two bike helmets. They're pretty cheap, not too bad. And then we will give our guys some helmets here. There we go. All right, and we don't have any other weapons at the moment, so I, I guess that's absolutely fine. All right, so let's have a look and see. Maybe, ah, you know what I'm gonna do? 
I'm going to run around. Yeah, I'm going to run around the Uman Brotherhood territory and see if I can maybe scout out where Finn is, because I think that my squad will be able to deal with him. I think we can probably win against him. So if we can do that successfully, then we are going to add one of the, well, in my opinion, one of the more useful generals to our army that quickly. That's going to be really, really good. So I'm hopeful that I will be able to do that, and hopefully I won't get absolutely murdered in the process. So let's see if I can maybe find where he is. Because I don't know whether he... Oh, there's Harkin. Harkin? Oh, you know, Harkin might actually be... Uh, wait a minute. There's two Harkins? <laughs> there are two Harkins. Alert, there are two Harkins. This is, this is abnormal. But uh, not completely unexpected. Two Harkins. I'm very surprised. Okay. So I have no... Uh, I don't think... I think this guy is the real one. Because he... Uh, he has the star by his name, and this guy is chasing Harkin. I, I have no idea. I guess I guess they want to attack, uh, you know, want to help each other out a little bit. I guess. But anyway, let's just wait here for some time and see exactly what happens, because you never know. We might very well have an opportunity here if they completely fail. Uh, no, they did not completely fail. They actually completely murdered everything in the area. So that's not exactly great. Oh, Minov is almost being taken. Look at that. It is under siege by Atov Federation. Okay. Yeah, look at that. They took that. Wow. That was very, very fast, wasn't it? Yeah, that was super quick. Okay, so, hmm. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to deal with the Atov Federation right now. That's just insane. Never in a million years will I be able to win in a battle against them. I might be able to win against some desert bandits, but I really don't want to fight in the nighttime anymore. So can we uh, can we get to daytime, maybe? Well, I do have night vision goggles now, so maybe it doesn't matter so much. But I really want to test out my forces in the daytime because I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried that it is a constant problem and I will just need to restart my save. May that might very well be the case, but otherwise... I guess we'll just have to deal with it for the moment. I'm not going to use too many intricate waypoints either at the moment because it is probably going to result in a little bit of hitching and a little bit of stalling in regards to our squads. So hopefully that will not happen. But otherwise, I think our squads are doing pretty well right now. I, I think they are a little better than they were previously because previously they were just not shooting at the enemy at all. And this time they are shooting at them in a somewhat decent fashion. They're still a little bit slow for my liking, but maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just used to them firing from all the way across the map as soon as they see the enemy. And that's perfectly fine. I think that's a, a pretty cool way to do things because then you know exactly what's going to happen with your own troops. But if the developers are trying to sort of implement this thing where maybe you can lead a stealth squad, and that might very well be the case because if the if you, you know if your units start firing at the enemy as soon as they see them stealth is not going to happen but maybe if as it is right now maybe if you give them a whole bunch of night camouflage you uh, I, I don't know whether you can give them i don't know whether you can give them silences actually i don't think you can actually give them silences but you might be able to equip them with va vowels and va vowels are inherently silenced so that might make sense but as it stands, I don't know how they're really going to use silencers because I don't think you can equip them with silencers. I, I, I think you, yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe you can equip them the same way that you can equip grenades or something like that, but you don't have the option to attach things like scopes or anything like that to your unit's weapons. At least as far as I'm aware, mm, yeah. So I, I think that's what I remember at the very least. Okay, so there's an enemy over there, I believe. Yeah, I think so. But at the very least, at least you can see right now. Can you see? I think you can see a lot better than you used to be able to. So that's good. And it's good for me as well. I'm a bit worried about not coming across the enemy just yet because we've met them halfway. Haven't we? Look at that. We've met them definitely halfway. 
and I'm worried that they are circling around us or something like that. I know that someone did mention in, in the comments that they had a situation where the bandits in question circled around them while they were on a hill and basically just surrounded them completely. And I think that that is very, very impressive for the AI to do that. But I, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if they're going to do that all the time or whether it's just that specific situation. So we'll see. We'll see exactly what happens as we continue to play. But as I say, if, uh, if my units continue to do this and they don't have night vision goggles or whatever, then it might just be their night sight range, if you know what I mean. There is an enemy over there, I believe. So I could technically shoot him from here. Or not, as the case may be, because I, I really don't know whether I... I don't think I'm going to be able to hit from this range. It's just, it's just almost impossible, in my opinion. With iron sights, it's just really, really difficult. I'm, I'm surprised that Malamute is taking so long to maneuver, actually. They're taking an inordinate amount of time to get over to us. So that's... Awful. That is really awful. As you can see, there's always one guy that is kind of like lagging behind. I don't know who that is. I think that's the FCA militia. It seems like the FCA militia guy is a little bit slow. I'm not entirely sure why. But yeah, anyway, let's just move up here and see if I can maybe draw the enemy in a little bit. If they are actually over here. My guys are really far behind me, by the way. So if I get caught out here, it is good night to me. They're just standing there? Yes, it, apparently he was, and that was a headshot. <laughs> that was complete luck. No skill involved in that whatsoever, thank you very much. But yeah, that's some good experience, by the way. That's a huge amount of experience for those kills. Desert Bandits apparently are really good. I mean, we kind of know that already, so it would be nice if... What, 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 did, what, are you, what are you doing? Look at these guys. What are they doing right there? I really need to kick out those FCA militia or just put them somewhere else because they are being absolutely idiotic most of the time. I mean, look at them. I, I don't know what these two are doing. These three are doing absolutely fine, but these two are, are just running all over the place. They seem to be doing some weird stuff. I have no idea. That is crazy. Oh, well. Never mind. I guess we'll we'll see if they continue to exhibit this kind of behavior. And if they do, then I guess we're going to have to reorganize our squad in some way. And maybe just get a whole bunch of armed bodyguards and just hope that it is the troop type that makes a difference, perhaps. But yeah, it seems like the enemies are uh, kind of camping out here. Is that an enemy right there? I could swear that that is an enemy. Yeah, it is. That guy's just standing there. Oh, I am really bad with iron sights. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. It is It is really, really bad. I really need to save up and get a scope or something. It is just a necessity. There we go. And that was a headshot. Are you serious? Just randomly shooting? Ugh. Okay, yeah. When I want it, you know? Allow me to demonstrate. You know, it's just like, the guy was really low HP, and then it's just like, allow me to demonstrate. It's just terrible. Oh well, never mind. I guess that's just how it goes. Sometimes, the enemy is being a bit weird though, I gotta say. Oh, hello. They are now starting to shoot me a lot, actually. Thankfully, there is a little bit of a hill here, so I am a little safer. Okay, so let's move my baby girl squad back, because I really don't want that one to go down. Thank you very much. So, yeah, now that there's emotional <laughs> investment in this squad. I gotta be careful with it. Oh no. Because usually I'm just gonna be like, yeah, just all go in there. But no, no, this one's gonna, yeah, this one's definitely gonna be, you know, treated a little bit differently because of that. Oh no. Okay. Uh, yep, hello. Wow, they take a lot of damage. And I got two critical hits right there as well. 
That's crazy. Okay, so hopefully my forces... Yep, they are starting to fire. Are they? I think they are starting to fire. I, or, they, or they're not? Or they're not? And it's just my enemies shooting at me? Yeah, I think that is, that is indeed the case. I don't know what really what's happening. Oh, there's an enemy. Can he die? Yeah, thank you. Okay. And that guy's shooting at me as well. There we go, got him. That was a headshot. What, what is with me and headshots today? I don't know. I've never really been able to get that many headshots because I usually just aim for the body because usually it's, you know, you know, about five shots at this point in the game to kill one of these guys. And that's much easier to do than just one headshot because it's usually incredibly precise that you need to be. Anyway, there's a thousand experience and just over 8,000 credits. And we also, oh my. <laughs> oh yes, one of my favorite weapons. And some amazing armor as well. Fantastic. And I'm going to take these tools. These tools are fantastic too. Thank you. Okay, that is really good. Very nice indeed. And I guess my, yep, my guys have certainly leveled up. They really have a lot. And we're going to give this guy a scar. Yeah, there we go. Wow, he is going to be absolutely beastly now. And then we can level up that guy. Yeah, so the FCA militia and someone else. Who's, who is who is it? Probably the Federal Infantry. I'm going to put these two over here. And then the armed bodyguards can just go together, I guess. There we go. We'll do something like that. And who do I want to give the armored vest to? Probably one of these guys. Probably the guy without a helmet. Or maybe the guy with a helmet. Because then he's not going to die as easily. I need to get them some helmets, don't I? Yes. Oh, they don't have... Oh, they don't have enough armor. They don't even have enough armor. Okay. So, they have 55. So, I guess I will give it to one of my other guys because they have enough. So, let's give it to this guy. And am, am I wearing something good? Yeah, I'm wearing a heavy tactical vest. That's crazy. That's really, really good, actually. Kind of surprised. And then let's get some more marksmanship. And I'll level up my assault rifles because we are going to be using the scar. And this is just for the just for the very very near future as we continue to progress in the game we will switch to some other weapon as i mentioned in the previous episode we'll go for something like a as i say probably a va val or something and then in our secondary slot we'll have like a machine gun or something along those lines because i've heard that someone tells me that you can put on a scope to an lmg and then it's just going to be a beast weapon uh, although it is going to have a pretty significant amount of recoil so We'll see how it goes. But otherwise, I think that could be a, a good plan. All right, so what else can I do here? I could... Uh, pilot's helmet. Oh, that's like very very expensive, isn't it? Yeah, that is very expensive. Okay, so I could get some... A I'm going to get an AM mask for myself. And I'm also going to get a... Uh, probably a old black leather jacket for myself as well. Because I would like to wear something different from this. There we go, it's a little bit better, and we'll put this on here. Can you wear that? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, so we've got a little bit of extra head armor there, which is going to help us out quite a bit. I don't need to use the khaki armor right here, so I guess we'll just give it to someone else. Don't know who to give it to, really. Still don't have any helmets. Can't give it to any of those guys. So I guess I'll just give it to this one. There we go. All right, so they're going to be really, really beastly now, those guys with the khaki armor. They're, they're just not going to die ever, I hope. And otherwise, uh, Zoria. Let's go into Zoria and see what's going on there because I would like to be able to buy a helmet if at all possible. Yes, here we go. Okay, so we've got two helmets. We definitely want to buy that. And is there anything else I want to do here? Uh, I probably want to buy some med kits. Night vision goggles. Ooh, yeah, I need to. Ah, I really need to get the night vision goggles as well. And I also need to buy them grenade launchers too. Wow, grenade launchers are much more expensive now, by the way. Did you notice that? Yeah, they're much more expensive now. So they were, I believe, weren't they like 4,600 before or something like that? And now they're 6,000. So yeah, they're a little bit more expensive. Otherwise, let's, let's just get some medkits. And we'll get some grenades because everyone's got throwing skill and they're pretty cheap. So let's do that, and then we can give this guy a grenade, we can give these guys grenades as well, there we go, okay. So that's a little better. 
Nice. Nice. Okay. And now these fellows can finally wear helmets. Great. Okay. Now that's looking good. That is looking really nice. Okay. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and look out for my friend Finn. And hopefully we will be able to get him. <laughs> uh, or Harkon. Either one. Uh, you know, as long as Harkon is not surrounded by his friends, I think we might be able to achieve a victory against him. We might. Ooh, there he is. Right, okay. Let's see if we can do this. This is going to be extremely risky and something I would not recommend doing, especially with my... <laughs> uh, do you think we can do it? I don't know whether we can do it. Should we get this Poznan commander to join us? Let's try and get him to join us. So technically, I could propaganda him. No, propaganda doesn't seem to work. So let's, shall we try torture? Let's try torture. And there we go. Okay, 69% chance. Let's persuade to join. Yeah, there we go. We did it. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so he is still injured. But I could get him to use some medkits. So let's do that. There we go. Now he's full HP. And now, whoa, he actually comes with a tactical Kevlar helmet. Give me that. Oh, yes. Give me that, sir. Thank you. And the night vision goggles as well. Wow, okay. No, I'm not going to take the night vision goggles from him. I think he could be a really, really good addition to Baby Girl Squad. Unfortunately, I don't have a helmet for him until I take off mine. So let's give him that. There we go. And there we are. All right, so hopefully that's going to be good. We'll give him the sunglasses as well. Yes, he's looking really, really good there. I don't know how that's going to work with the night vision goggles, but he'll just have to, he'll just have to do it, you know, in some way or another. All right, so I think... We might be able to win. We might be able to win here. All right, so both of our squads have five members each, and we are up against 23. I am a bit worried about this, suffice it to say. But I think we might surprise each other, because I'm going to be surprised if we can win this, especially considering I did not. <sighs> why am I such an idiot? I don't know why. I don't know why. But anyway, considering I did not buy any ammunition for my scar, now I am frustrated. <laughs> because I would have loved to have used this scar against this overwhelmingly powerful force. But anyway, I at least have the opportunity to equip my AKM once again. Because it's not an awful weapon. It really isn't. It's a, it's a perfectly fine weapon. But I would prefer to use the scar at this point. But otherwise, I think we're okay. Because we can just switch over once we have used all the ammunition for the scar. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. I'm sure I'm sure there were those of you in the you know out there in the audience that were just like he's not going to buy any ammunition for this you know <laughs> yes that happened yeah great oh well never mind okay so I am just going to charge up the hill here as I do I have a good amount of helmet armor now and I have a decent amount of you know chest armor my HP is really bad, so you know that that's pretty awful. But otherwise, I think we should do okay. This is not a nighttime battle, so my guys should theoretically shoot as soon as they see the enemy, because they are not hindered by nighttime any further. And if it is slightly nighttime, then the Posna commander will be able to shoot at least and be able to do some pretty good damage, hopefully. So let's see if that is indeed the case. And otherwise, the terrorists, they do have, uh, well, they have a lot of grenade launchers, don't they? So that is a bit of a problem. But I'm hopeful that they will not be too fast in their movements and that I will have gotten to the hill before them. I think I might have. I don't see them, which is problematic. Oh, is someone shooting at me? Yep, there they are. There they are. Okay, I see them. We're going to run away. Just a little. And, oh, this is much better iron sight. Yeah, this is a much better iron sight for me. Okay, this is problematic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to get my forces up here. And I am going to move back a little bit. The enemy is coming. I think they are coming towards us. Okay, this is bad. Because my, my squad is not here. And I don't like the brush. I don't like how the brush... Oh, hello. Is that not an enemy? Are you serious? That's not an enemy? Oh, I can't believe it. I really thought that that was an enemy right there. All right, so don't die, guys. Do not die. You cannot die 
We must win this. Being able to recruit Harkon is our top priority at the moment. I'm really worried about this. I kind of want to I kind of want to get around here, but I'm being shot at, which is not very pleasant. Okay, no, 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 no. This is not not a good idea. I have no medkit. Do bear that in mind. No medkit whatsoever. So if I do take significant damage, I will not be able to recuperate it. But I kind of wanted to get around because I'm not going to be able to shoot them this way. That's for sure. And my guys, are they shooting back? No, 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 not a, not at all. They don't seem to want to shoot back. The Poznan commander was the first one to go down. And they are not shooting back. Look at this. They are not shooting back. They are now, a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know what's really going on with that. I mean, we... Yeah, okay. Uh, you, you guys can just kill me. <laughs> you guys can just kill me. I think I probably need to restart my save game because my guys are just not shooting. They are just not shooting. You could see that right there. They, they started to shoot a little bit, but I think that if they had shot as much as they did in the previous version, we would have taken out quite a few of them already. And even if we had lost a few of our own units, then it wouldn't have made that much difference. But anyway, I am going to be restarting the series. You don't have to worry about having to see any of the early game because I will do that myself off screen. And I will also rename our squads exactly how we have here. And I will recruit armed bodyguards. I'll have the Federal Infantry and so on and so forth. And I'll see whether that makes any difference. If it doesn't make any difference, then I guess we just need another patch to make the allied you know, allied forces actually react to when they get shot or something like that. I, don't, I really don't know what's going on with it. But otherwise, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.